We're back. And this time, I'm gonna try 500 volt. Chem power incoming here at Avia Volt. 18% and a couple of fast charging sessions done already. It is now 11 degrees and sunny. And here we are in Enschede. Ooh, when you get out of the car, you have to be careful because I almost tripped and the engine is still running. That's why it's making the sound. So Avia is offering these chargers to trucks and EVs and it's not very obvious unless you look at these lines but the trucks are supposed to go here on the right side for 800 volt charging on that unit and this unit funnily enough limited to 240 kilowatts if you believe the cam power display and this is the 500 volt charging and that is 250 kilowatt but uh, well, I can tell you that over there there's 400 kilowatts in total and since these things will not deliver over 300 amps, at least if we have to believe the specification on the side like this one, uh, yeah, if you bring BMW, Mercedes and so on, you won't even hit the 200 kilowatts. But since we have the Ionic uh, that can do 800 volts, I'm very interested in what will happen um, when I'm not charging at 800 volts, which most chargers can do, but these ones cannot. So let's try this out. So you can see all the chargers behind me. And let's see. What happens when I show my Vattenfall badge? Verified. Let me change this to English. Connect cable. All right. All very easy to do with one hand. These plugs are not that heavy, so they stick better because they're not liquid cooled. Preparing to charge. And what is very cool is that I didn't use an app to start this session, but I will be able to check on my session. I'll pick up my other phone to show you. Let's see this ramp up. Battery should be nice and warm now since this, since this is the fourth charging session of the day. Although all earlier sessions were very short just to get me here. Uh, except for the first cold session at Fastnet Amsterdam. About 20 minutes. So, huh. Interestingly enough. It recognizes that this is an Ionic 5 because Camp Power has all these statistics from earlier sessions all over Europe. And it shows this vehicle limit message. Well, that is interesting because I would expect it to ramp up further. I think this is all the modules in here kicking in. I will try and see if I can put them in the video because I have footage of it earlier. Um, hmm, but 104 kilowatts, that is not what I expected. Might have to do with the 500 volt limit, of course. <laughs> Sophia checking 500 volt, 800 volt on the left. Okay, so still 104 kilowatt. Let's check the session on my Android. K 
can I also oh yes ah so that is super cool it shows 450 volts max so this is a question I got on LinkedIn if 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 this uh, car would do 500 volts because it has been known that the Porsche won't but this one will also not ramp up to 500 volts it seems it seems really like a, a fixed limit so let's try the other side because this charger over here is an 800 volt charger and that should help us but yeah this is a super cool screen as you can see so I want to stop the session idea required Whew. time for an electric truck can't hear myself think anymore as you can see we added six kilowatt hours in four minutes it's still nice score well I told you that this cable wasn't that heavy but I would say it's pretty heavy still so let's see if we can get that cable to move all the way over there verified I think this is the camp power freedom movement and again this this sticks in nicely which is different compared to I guess it's it's helped by by this extra plastic there that is lacking on these Phoenix plugs that I used at uh, at Fastnet I, I think I will, I will see if if I remember that correctly let's change it to English again all these machines obviously start up in Dutch so now we can see that the ramp up goes beyond 500 volts or below be beyond 450 because these chargers can do the full 800 volts that the vehicle can handle still it says vehicle limits so maybe the battery isn't even that warm yet I mean given the outside temperature of 11 degrees oh so noisy uh, given the outside temperature that uh, that might have an impact of course but yeah I had a 170 kilowatt peak before at Shell even which is a hundred kilometers back um, more than an hour ago which yeah I I don't really understand what is going on because since then I would find it hard to believe if the battery but maybe yes yeah, so so actually because I had the heating on in the car at 21 degrees and it's obviously not that warm outside maybe that actually took all this heat from the battery um, yeah that is uh, that could be the case aha uh -huh, so we have a ramp up now and I will scan this new QR code and as you can see it is a little bit behind which is funny so it is still ramping up and it's cool that this charger shows that it's the the vehicle limiting this session and not the car and not the machine uh, because you could obviously in most in a lot of cases you would blame a charger because that one you know many chargers cannot deliver over 150 or 175 but these chargers can go higher than this especially because it's not fully loaded here like if if six vehicles arrive then obviously the 400 kilowatts uh, might be um, turning out to be not really sufficient if everybody is ready to charge at the max so I guess the battery is warming up thanks to this charging session 
because it's still uh, hitting higher max okay so now I am officially lost because the car is throttling when I don't see any reason for why it would be um, yeah we're only at 35 percent we hit nearly 190 kilowatt and now we're doing 140 and the most strange thing is this ha happened already at the shell charger uh, over an hour ago and then yeah I, I didn't even expect the battery to be warm so I was surprised that it hit 170 kilowatts at all but then it also dropped back very rapidly oh this is interesting see it, it showed two, 240 kilowatt when I arrived and these one 250 but because I'm using the 800 volt charger so that is a shared stack um, with this one on the left supposed to charge a truck that could park over here because I am using 140 kilowatts if someone else arrives there is 120 available super interesting chem power setup what is this ionic 5 doing though i i have i haven't even seen it cross the 200 mark and this dip is really i i didn't see it coming so maybe it is time to find out what is going on with the dongle here maybe we can find some battery statistics okay so my beautiful broken android phone shows us that the battery is somewhere between 26 and 33 so now it gets even weirder because why with that temperature would it be this slow um, I mean not that 140 kilowatts is slow but I wouldn't expect it to um, yeah to go at this speed it's yeah I, I don't understand I should have uh, checked the battery temperature earlier my apologies mm, because now we don't really know uh, what was going on I think it's fun to try one more time at these statistics with the 500 volts so I will stop this session so just to prove how these modules work it does show 240 again uh, so that's a live live view of what it can actually deliver to the next one coming in let's start this one again preparing So, uh, the battery temperature went up 28 degrees minimum one would say perfect for a fast charging session at 800 volts but these chargers on this side for the cars deliver 500 volts even though a satellite can handle more it's the modules in here that cannot but apparently the car's internal charger if it cannot get up to 800 volts from the charger seems to be limited to 450 volts instead of the 500 that should be able to be delivered by this chem power charger the funny thing is that we will be able to test this some more later today because I will visit the Tesla supercharger and m probably most of you know that that will be um, also limited in some ways because it cannot deliver 800 volts 
uh, or it isn't programmed to or you know something is missing there probably the modules again uh, or not yeah it's just uh, the Teslas don't do 800 volts of course and since the testing is just being done in Norway France and the Netherlands right now uh, yeah Tesla has little to gain by delivering more volts to these chargers hmm so yeah clearly a hard limit of 450 volts I hope that has been useful to some of you and uh, I will go on my way to a different charger again I'm curious maybe I will try the Delta charger that is just around the corner here just a small inspection round as you can see very minor damage to the charger because of how it is modeled but you can see on this side probably because of the trucks of visiting that never really moved that thing a lot there's no serious hits like here we can see a little bit of that and um, here maybe this hasn't even been used yet oh, I'm sorry I didn't do a close-up of the LEDs I should have done that because it's nice that they can show on both sides if you put two connectors on them they can show you what's going on on both sides 